Hello, my friends. It is Perez Hilton. May the force be with you. I am so thrilled. Hey, I am uploading earlier today. And I'm also really excited because there is so much juiciness to get to. There ain't no preamble. I'm getting right to it. Starting off with Ariana Grande, whom yesterday on April Fool's released a new song. And it wasn't a joke. It's a song with her longtime collaborator, Victoria Monet. It's called Monopoly. And people are talking about the Ari song, not just because it's new music from her, but also because she seemingly comes out as not heterosexual. That's an accurate way of describing it. I'm not saying she's bi, pan, fluid, or a lesbian. I'm just saying she's not heterosexual because the lyrics to this song, which she sings at one point by herself, say, quote, I like women and men, yeah. Work so blank and much, need a twinny twin twin. And then when Victoria Monet was asked straight up if Ari is bi, she said, quote, she said what she said. Hmm. A lot of people, though, think that Ariana is queer baiting and one of those straight girls who makes out with other girls but only dates men. If you make out with other girls. Does that make you straight though? I don't think that makes you straight. I think that makes you not straight. It doesn't necessarily make you bi. It doesn't mean you wanna date women. It just means you're not straight. To me, if I was a straight guy, I'm not making out with other men, right? Or I'm a gay guy. I'm not making out with women. I wish I could. I mean, I could, but I wish that it would bring me joy. Like these little finger toys. Well, they're not finger toys. These thingies make bring me joy. I think I'll have some um, co-stars with me today. Which one's Ariana? Mm, I guess that's as close to a ponytail as I'm getting. Not straight. <laughs> And I don't think she's queer baiting, you know? Um, you can find women beautiful. You can enjoy making out with women if you're a woman. And you don't have to identify as straight. And you don't have to date women. You could just enjoy making out with women. And even if you just enjoy making out with women when you're drunk, there's nothing wrong with that. You're still not straight then, I think. Because no matter how drunk I get, I'm not going to make out with a woman. <laughs> All right. Done with Ariana. Should I leave this there? That might be distracting. From Ariana Grande to a similar story, Jerry Halliwell is denying the revelation from Mel B that she and her hooked up previously. Her rep released a statement on her behalf and uh, Ginger Spice, I had a brain fart, said, quote, it has been very disappointing to read about all these rumors again, especially on Mother's Day of all days. Jerry is really grateful for your support and loyalty for so many years. She loves the Spice Girls, Emma, Melanie, Melanie, and Victoria. She would like you to know that this, that what has been reported recently is simply not true and has been hurtful to her family. Moving forward, Jerry can't wait to see the girls and all the fans on tour. This is the worst British accent. Have an amazing time with everyone and make some new memories. She wishes you a happy Mother's Day. Well, somebody's lying. It's a case of she said, she said. Honestly, I don't even care if they hooked up or they didn't hook up. All I care about is that the Spice Girls come and tour America. Why have you not announced 
tour dates for the U.S. yet. And Canada, can't ignore them. And Mexico. And South America. And Australia. And the rest of the world. All right. Speaking of the UK, oh my God, princess to be, no, she'll never be a princess, actually. I don't think so. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry now have their very own Instagram account, Sussex Royal. Follow them if you're not following them. I did. And the timing of all of this is very suspect my conspiracy theorist brain thinks perhaps the Sussexes joining Instagram has something to do with all of these rumors of Prince William having an affair with a friend of his <gasps> hi, hi, hi. it is all the talk of hoity-toity London although people in America um the outlets aren't really talking about it here, but the word has gotten back to me because I'm a huge Anglophile. And according to the chatter, Kate Middleton is not leaving Prince William over this, but she has ended the friendship of this woman and her husband who were in the inner circle and friends with Prince William and her. And I, 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 I mean... The British royals are notorious for having affairs. Notorious. For centuries. It's in their blue blood. <laughs> All right, on to other news. More British news. It's a very British show today. Sam Smith. <laughs> no, this is Sam Smith. Sam Smith has revealed in a new interview that he had liposuction at age 12. First of all, it sucked that he was going through such a difficult time, A, trying to lose weight naturally, B, such a difficult time that he felt he needed to go to this extreme step, and C, it sucked that his parents let that happen. Let him get to that point. Let him have the surgery, not finding other remedies for it. And that a surgeon would do this. I don't think that's legal in America. I don't know if a 12-year-old can have plastic surgery unless it is you're disfigured from an accident or it's to save your life. You know, he says it was just Vanity. He says, quote, a, a boy on the playground embarrassed him by grabbing his chest in front of everyone, and he got liposuction at the age of 12. He goes on, he said, at the time, I think I was very happy about it. It didn't really change anything. I think I put the weight back on in two weeks because I haven't figured out my relationship with food, so it didn't really change anything. But being 12 years old, I forgot to do the British accent, but being 12 years old and having liposuction on your chest is quite a big deal. Yeah. I don't want to say he has bad parents. I'm sure that his parents thought they had his best interests in heart. But also at 12, you're still growing. And would you let a 12-year-old have liposuction? <sighs> On to other news. No toys for this, because this is really serious and awful. The NYPD is investigating magician David Blaine after two more women have accused him of sexual assault. A few years ago, a woman accused him of rape. Nothing came of that. Now, two more women are echoing a similar story, and maybe something will come of that. In other news, serious as well, um, an update on the death of rapper Nipsey Hussle. The Los Angeles Police Department have 
revealed a suspect. He is 29-year-old Eric Holder. They've released his photo and they've released information in the car, on the car that he was in being driven away by a woman. This guy is also a rapper and he's a wanted man now. Not just by police, but allegedly the Crips, a gang put a hit out on him. Sad all around. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, another update. Wendy Williams and her husband are apparently exploring a separation, looking into what that would be like or entail. I don't see that happening. She's staying with that beast. Well played. <laughs> Another update, Mick Jagger. I told you earlier, he had some health issues, had to postpone indefinitely or without a rescheduled date. The upcoming Rolling Stones summer stadium tour. Now we know it is a heart issue and a stent is having to be placed in his heart which is really serious. Ay, ay, ay. Sending him all of the positive vibes. I don't use this cup too often, but I like it. On to lighter news. Let's move to lighter news. Hottie Grant Gustin, formerly of Glee, now the star of The Flash on The CW, avoided being arrested when he was a very naughty boy aboard a flight to Vancouver, he went to the bathroom on the plane and started vaping, which is against the law. The smoke detector went off, which is weird. I mean, I'm not a vapor, but I thought that was all supposed to be smokeless. Maybe the technology is just that advanced that they can find out when you're vaping without smoke in the bathroom, or maybe there was smoke. I don't know. Um, but luckily for him, he wasn't arrested or detained or anything. They just took his vape pen away or whatever vape instrument he had. White justice. <laughs> Onto some couples news. Khloe Kardashian and her Kardashian sisters were on Jimmy Kimmel Live last night, live from Las Vegas, and Jimmy asked about Tristan Thompson, saying, quote, I do want to ask about this character that you had a baby with. Is it time to stop dating basketball players? To which Khloe responded, I don't know. I like what I like. What can I say? like a former basketball player? That's what I say, a retired basketball player. I mean, I sort of get what she means by she likes what she likes, but there's plenty of retired, actually a lot of retired basketball players, they're, they're a little rough. They've gained a lot of weight. She may not like that, I don't know. Oh, Chloe. In more Card Jenner news, Jordan Wood's mother left a heart emoji on a photo that Kylie Jenner posted of her daughter, Stormy. I think that's inappropriate. Stay away. Stay away. You and Jordan, stay away. Let Kylie and her family reach out to you. Don't be leaving hearts on her photo. Speaking of the card Jenners, Kylie herself just got back from Mexico where she and Travis Scott were spending a couple's getaway with little Stormy as well, of course, and 20 nannies. <laughs> but you know, they're still together and putting in the effort and making their relationship work. Wrapping up a card Jenners segment, I watched this YouTube, actually, I didn't watch the whole thing. I don't like to lie. I watched about a minute or a minute and a half of that video of Jojo Siwa. Is it Siwa? I think it's Siwa. Siwa? Siwa? And Northwest. I'm not here to talk smack about that girl. I'm not, I don't have anything negative to say. 
just an observation. I had never heard her speak before. I was surprised. Her voice does not sound like it would be coming out of her body and she sure sounds also aggressive. Woo! She's really into that slime. <laughs> Keep on doing. It, it, it's worked for her though. You know, she's extremely successful. All right, on to others news, happier news, better couples news. Sophie Turner reveals that she and fiance Joe Jonas met because he slid into her DMs. If I was by, I'd be getting so much action, but guys aren't really sliding into my DMs. I mean, every once in a while, but 90% of my comment are from lovely ladies. Oh well, does this say anything? Oh no. I wish they would say like little fortunes or little expressions, little positive isms. Oh well. Um was that it? No. Lastly, ending things on a real wacky note, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has released a rap song as a joke. I kinda like it though. It's called Rest in peace, Harambe. It's stupid. And if you just embrace it, you'll enjoy it. Just like me. I don't think I'm that stupid. Just a little bit stupid. Thank you for watching. I love you. If you enjoyed this video, help me grow this. It's a team effort. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Follow, subscribe, share. Tell all of your friends. Mwah. Mwah. Ah.